Right guys, so we're doing a transmission service today on my Discovery 3. Um, I've already got the steel pan, so the filter itself is separate to the, the base. Um, for you guys that would still be using the plastic one, God knows why, um, the filter's built into that. So I've got myself six layers of oil, lifeguard six, so I don't use anything else. Um, I've had dramas of other oils in the past, and the three transmission shops I've spoken to have purely and solely said don't don't be tight when it comes to oil on ZF training, so I never have. Um, some gasket, but I've got a steel one under there, so if that looks good, I'll just reuse my other one. Mechatronic sleeve. So every time I drop the pan, I change this because it's a $15 part, and it's a potential spot for leakage that you have to drop the pan, uh, drop the pan for to, um, to replace. So basically, I do this every 40,000 Ks because I do a lot of four-wheel driving and towing and stuff. Um, and then every 20,000 Ks, I just do an oil change. Um, which yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so um, I've just pulled off the tranny plate and the engine dash plate. And basically, you just have these T40 Torx bits. And that's your sump bolts um, and your drain Allen key, which I'm pretty sure is a 6mm or 5mm. And then this plug here, which is an 8mm Allen key. Um, Get the finger there for you. Yeah, so that's your, your level plug. And if you look up here on your left hand side, um, this is the mechatronic sleeve that I want to be replacing. Um, so that's the one that can possibly leak, so I always change it when I drop the sump. So that's the filter and the sump off. Um, as you would have seen, I had to sort of twist it sideways to get it in between the cross member and stuff like that. Uh, I struggled a little bit that time because it got caught on the filter, so just pulled the filter off before I tried, like I dropped the pan down enough and then reached in there and popped the filter out and then that made life a lot easier. So, um, so that's around about 5.2 litres, 5.3 litres completely drained. Um, I don't know, I have been getting like 6 litres, so I, my tranny actually isn't that hot today, I was a bit lazy, I didn't take it for a drive, so I'm wondering if that actually made a difference with the quantity that I got, because I'm about a litre short of where I normally am, but um, I'm still happy with 5 litres. So all I'm going to do now is clean up the magnets, clean up the sump, um, make sure all the faces are nice and clean, and then bolt it back together. So before I get too far, because I almost forgot, which I did last time and it really drove me bonkers. Let me get the torch for you. Um, the mechatronic sleeve. So, where's the camera? What I need to do is, this sleeve here, 
I don't know if you can see my hand at all. Um, you need to loosen that off. So, so you just want to try and lever it. There you go. So that's how you do that. So she's free now, so you just gotta keep turning it. And then what that does is it actually pops the harness off. The cord on everything in here. There you go. So that's the plug off there. Um, and then there's a little push tab here on the let me just adjust these legs. This is a pain. Alright, so there's a push tab on this. So you wanna push it and pull up. And that releases the locking tab for the sleeve itself. And you just need to try and keep your harness out of the way because um, this sits on two O-rings, as you've seen me show you before. So you've got to just try and pry it out, really. Sometimes they can be quite tight. Um, and other times you can get them easy. There we go. So this one's not too bad because it's been changed before, but if you're one of the people that haven't had your serv uh, training service ever, those O-rings are a real tight bugger to get out. Um, so this only goes in one way. And I forgot which way that is and I didn't pay attention when I pulled it out, so I'm going to be messing around a bit trying to get that right. <laughs> Alright, so basically that slot faces um, faces downwards so all right so new sleeve is in um, couldn't record it for you because it's just too I needed both hands but the slot faces downwards towards the bottom of the transmission and um, just lube up the o-rings a touch because it is real tight to get in and pretty much I held weight on it with a lever bar as I just jiggled it with my other hand and it just popped in eventually you'll know when it's in because this clip will push in if it's not in this clip doesn't push in and um yeah it's probably the easiest way to know but these can be quite tight to push in as well so it's a little bit you get a little bit nervous doing it um just take your time and if it doesn't feel right don't rush it and just double check everything uh also importantly just take note of how far in the sleeve sat originally so that you're not second guessing yourself to begin with so I'm just going to fit the new filter now and sump pan um, but I just looked up in there which is real common so uh, this rubber likes to come off of the old filter and stay up in the housing so if that's the case this filter won't go in um, that's what's happened to me so I'm just going to go pop it out now I'll show you hopefully right, so you should see the orange seal just where my screwdriver is there so it's quite it's easy to get out it's flat blade screwdriver and off she pops Alright, so got the pre-existing rubber right, I've lubed up the end of this rubber for the filter. Um, and it's pretty simple, you just pop it up in place, you feel it pop in. And then there's a couple of prongs on the underside of the filter that um, you sort of sit and you see where it sits in place. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the tray up sideways, twist it around, bolt it all up.
All right, so I lost um, my nice container to uh, pump oil into the tranny, so I said I'm just using an empty one. Um, so don't freak out when you see 7590 going into the tranny because it's full of lifeguard six. All right, so I've put two liters in so far, but just so you know, I'll show you where the fuel hole is. Just on the side there. So plan of attack is, um, that's not very bright, is it? Yeah. All right, so plan of attack is put two liters in so far. Um, gonna keep pumping until it starts overflowing. Once it starts overflowing, I'll start the car up and I'll keep pumping. Um, and you want a gentle trickle come out as the car is idling. So I'll get it running, get it so the trickle's coming out. I'll cycle it through drive, neutral, reverse, and then in manual mode, first, second, and third. Um, and then once you get it to the point where it's just trickling out of there, you gotta get the temperature up to between 30 to 50 degrees Celsius. And then you pull the level bar out, which is where we're filling it from. And you wait for it to um, stop trickling out. So I like to set it at 40, 41, 42 degrees. Um, and then I pull the bung out. And once it stops stripping out of the level thing, you know it's set perfectly. So I'm going to do that now. All right, so that's the initial level set. Um, so it took five and a half litres, or just over. There's still a bit left in here, so. Um, all I'm going to do now is plug my scan tool in and get it up to 40 degrees tranny temp and then we re reset the level. Alright, so she's at 40 degrees C now and uh, I always like to... Oh, I didn't spill much, that's alright. I like to double check the temperature with um, the temp gun. degrees on the sun and then I like to angle it inside of the uh, inside the trend as well to try to get a reading I've got 44 degrees inside of there so what I'm going to do now is um, let the oil slow down to a real gentle trickle and uh, that's your, your level done 